SharePoint Premium is dead. Well, at least the name. Yes, Microsoft is rebranding things again, and if you're keeping score at home for SharePoint Premium, this is technically rebrand number four. So what's the latest? It's now called Document Processing for Microsoft 365. In this video, we'll take a look back on how we got here, and more importantly, what this actually means for you. So let's get started by taking a step back. This isn't the first time that Microsoft has renamed those features. We all know Microsoft loves to rename stuff, but four times or five times in six years, I think is a record. Back in 2019, while it was still in development, it was called Project Cortex. A year later, it became SharePoint Syntax, focused on AI-powered document understanding. Then in 2022, it shifted to Microsoft Syntax as Microsoft pushed content AI across workloads and not just SharePoint. And then at Ignite in November 2023, I was in the room, Jeff Tieper introduced SharePoint Premium, the one suite to help you manage, ground, and leverage content for AI. The idea was simple, one brand that everyone could recognize, bringing together all the extra features on top of base SharePoint. SharePoint Premium was organized into three pillars, experiences, processes, and governance. So everything you need to manage, ground, and leverage content for AI. First of all, for the content experiences, it included brand new things at the time, such as the Agreement app in Teams, SharePoint eSignature, which funny enough, now also got renamed to just eSignature, and the Documents Hub for customers and partners, which hasn't shipped, at least not yet. Then we had content processing. This carried forward the syntax classics, autofill columns, taxonomy tagging, content query, translation for both documents and videos, PDF annotations, and more. Basically, this is where you transform content with AI, not just make the user experience smoother, but also, let's be honest here, prepare your content for Copilot because the more quality content you have, the better your Copilot rollout would be. So those tools helped you with that. And finally, the governance pillar brought in advanced admin capabilities like SharePoint Advanced Management, Microsoft 365 Archive, and Microsoft 365 Backup. So this was the vision back at Ignite 2023, but now, almost two years later, here we are again. The funny part is that the rename from Syntex to SharePoint Premium wasn't even fully finished. As we're at the end of August right now, you can see there's still Syntex everywhere in the docs and inside the admin center, you'll find Syntex mentioned everywhere. So that was the past. How does it look like today? Now Microsoft has decided to split it up. First of all, SharePoint Advanced Management, Backup, and Archive are standalone products. They're not under an umbrella. They are standalone products. They are their own thing. And everything that used to be Syntex is now bundled under this new umbrella, Document Processing for Microsoft 365. And yes, Microsoft is very picky. You'll notice in the documentation, they have a lower D and lower P. So it's a category. It's not a product name, a document processing for M365. It's just a category. That's how Microsoft usually uh, uses those inside their branding guidelines. If you check Microsoft Learn right now, you'll also see that they use this rename to make their priorities crystal clear, which I appreciate. To tell you a bit what I mean by that, at the Microsoft 365 conference in May, they highlighted four services that will get the most love going forward. OCR, document translation, autofill columns, and e 
signatures. Those are their priorities. And the rest of things, like, you know, the initial features from syntax that were based on machine learning, so your document processing models, uh, content assembly, taxonomy tagging, image tagging, were pushed into the past generation's bucket. And today, if we look at the docs, they're actually tucked away under the other document processing services. So you see, Microsoft, as you navigate that, they don't want you to see those as main services, as things that you should uh, look for as a first option. They're still there because the product is still alive. However, they're not part of their priorities. And if possible, they would prefer that people use the four at the top, autofill columns, document translation, e-signature, and OCR. Those are their priorities. Now to be super clear, Microsoft hasn't said anything about deprecating or stopping support for those features that are a bit more hidden here. So I don't expect them to disappear anytime soon. If you use them in production, don't worry, it's not an emergency to move off them or anything like that, but it's obvious which features will get the most love or attention in the future. So now, what does this mean for you in practice? Honestly, absolutely nothing changes overnight. All the features that you use today are still there. The only impact today, all the beautiful, you know, SharePoint Premium swag like I have here, uh, whether it's mugs or socks here, those I didn't even get a chance to wear those ones, my uh, SharePoint Premium socks that you have, well, they now belong in the vintage pile. Who knows, maybe there'll be a collector items one day. That said, if you're relying heavily on the older machine learning based features, so uh, you use the uh, unstructured document processing models in syntax, for example, or uh, you use content assembly and things like that, this is a good moment to start planning for the future. Look into what are autofill columns or Copilot or other newer tools can replace those features. It's not urgent. However, moving in the same direction as Microsoft usually means that you'll get newer features, a smoother experience, and hey, with the cost reduction on autofill columns, maybe you're even gonna save some costs. So make sure you check it out before it becomes urgent and Microsoft announces something. But honestly, even as an MVP, I didn't hear, anyway, if I did, I couldn't tell you, but I didn't hear anything yet. Microsoft hasn't published yet anything about deprecating uh, the products, even if they are in the past generation. So nothing to worry about today, but always good to start looking at the future. And by the way, don't forget that Microsoft is offering free document processing services until December 2025. So if you've been curious to try them out or want to run a proof of concept in your organization, now is the perfect time. I got a video walking you through exactly what the promotion is and how to activate it. So if you missed that video, make sure you check it out. This is it for this video. Please let me know what you think of this rename in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel if you subscribe. So, and I really appreciate it. On your screen right now, you'll see a link to my content AI promo video that I just talked about, as well as a playlist with over four hours of deep dives to help you make the most out of Microsoft 365 document processing. Woof, I'll have to get used to that one. See you there.